Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we continue our mini series on the nativity scenes by talking about the donkey. There's a Christmas carol called The Friendly Beasts, also sometimes called Jesus Our Brother. And in it, each animal at the manger has a verse about what gift they bring for the newborn Jesus. The sheep brings wool for a coat to keep him warm. The cow gives hay for a pillow and so on. The verse about the donkey goes like this. I, said the donkey, humble and brown, I carried your mother uphill and down. I carried your mother to Bethlehem town. I, said the donkey, humble and brown. It's very common in nativity plays to depict Mary as riding on a donkey into Bethlehem. Pretty much every Christmas movie ever made has it this way, and countless children's books feature the point of view of this donkey as he witnessed the birth at the manger. The problem is, if you read the Bible story closely, there is no mention of any donkey. Mary and Joseph do travel to Bethlehem for the census, but it doesn't say how they actually got there, just that they went. As it turns out, even the early church imagined Mary riding on a donkey. There are plenty of other Christian writings that we have that we know of that didn't make it into the Bible. Either they were written too late or the early church already decided that they were not at the same caliber of writing as the ones that we do have in the Bible. One of these books called the Infancy Gospel of James is the first record that we have of Mary riding on a donkey. The Gospel of James was written in the later half of the second century AD, so it comes about a hundred years after the Gospel stories that we do have in the Bible, Mark, Matthew, Luke, and John. The early church already realized that the Gospel of James was not historically accurate, and yet many of the stories that we do have in our public imagination with the details of Christmas come not from the Bible, but from the Gospel of James. Included in this is Mary riding on a donkey into Bethlehem, the idea that Jesus was born in a cave, which is not very popular in this country, but is well known in other countries. And also the idea that Joseph was already an older man and had been married before, had children before he married Mary, and that Mary was not a virgin just only before she became pregnant with Jesus, but stayed a virgin her entire life. These are all details that are found in the Gospel of James and not in the Bible. What is true about donkeys and why the early church liked donkeys so much is because they are a symbol of humility and service. Rather than a horse which symbolized physical strength and military power and domination, donkeys became a Christian symbol because of their strong but quieter spirit. The truth is there is no specific mention of any animals being present at the birth of Jesus. But we have long imagined it that way. And part of that is to say that Jesus' birth was not just for you and for me, but it was to show that God is here present with all of creation. 